we may already be there because I don't think any of the estimates include the number of people using internet-enabled mobiles. I can't even guess at how many are internet-enabled. We know there are 5.5 billion in the world. Probably 20% are, uh, are internet-enabled, but some of those may be owned by people who are already counted in the 2 billion online, so I really don't know. Uh, but the side effect of increasing the number of people on the net uh, has both positive and negative characteristics to it. First positive one is that it increases the amount of uh, utility that the net has because the probability that the person you want to interact with is online goes up as more people are actually part of the system. It also increases the total amount of information in the network because the, everybody who gets on the net seems to generate as well as consume information so that makes the life harder for Google and Yahoo and Microsoft and others who are indexing all this stuff. Uh, this actually drives uh, a problem for uh, users, especially if they're involved in social networking, because the number of participants in that social network per user goes up. And eventually that translates into too many interactions and transactions to keep up with. Google Plus uh, made an attempt to um, give a little bit of control to the users by having circles so that you could identify uh, groups of friends or associates and then deal only with the transactions particular to that group. Of course, one person could be in more than one group. Uh, so there's a positive benefit, though, to increasing the number of people on the net because the um, network effect of being able to carry out transactions with people who are online increases when there's a high probability that they'll be there. So I think that the technical tools will arise uh, for, uh, for coping with this increased volume of content. I know that email has been a help to me in that regard because people send me emails drawing my attention to things on the net that I didn't know about and might not even have looked for. So in a sense I have a collection of editors who are drawing on my behalf or drawing my, my attention to various things. So we will find ways of coping with information overload.